Hey everyone, it's That Math Magician, and on this video, we're going to take a look at our introduction to sequences. And I hope that after this video, you'll have a nice concrete definition on what makes a sequence a sequence, and hopefully you'll be able to identify at least two different types of sequences. Now before we really get into this video, I think we need to start off with a nice clear definition on what makes a sequence a sequence. So let me go ahead and write that out now. Alrighty, so our definition that we're going to be using throughout the rest of these videos on sequences is a list of numbers in a special order. That is exactly what a sequence is. It's just a list of numbers written out but they're written out in a special order. They're not just randomly placed. There is something happening as you move from each number to the next. So, as I mentioned earlier, there are two different types of sequences that we're going to focus on. Now, there are many different types of sequences, and I can't make a video for every single type. But for the first couple of videos here, we're just going to focus on the two most important types of sequences. Now I'm going to go ahead and make an example of the first type of sequence and then we'll define what it is and what makes it special. So let's look at the sequence 3, 5, 7, 9. And then I'm going to go ahead and put those three dots at the end. That's what we call an ellipsis and that means that that sequence is going to go on forever until infinity. We're starting at 3, we move to 5, we go to 7, we move on to 9, and that would continue on. That doesn't mean that my sequences stops at nine. Those three dots mean that it goes on forever. Now we have our sequence here. We see that our first term is a three. Our second term goes to a five. It jumps to a seven, and then we have a nine. Now when we look at sequences, like I said, that definition, it's a list of numbers in a special order. And one of the big things about sequences is that when you're given one, you have to figure out what is the special order. How is that number changing from one term to the next? How is, or are we getting those new numbers? And so looking at this sequence here, hopefully you're starting to realize that as I move from the, each term to the next, that something is happening to each term there. And with this one, it's a little simple to see, but I think for this one, we're just adding two. Right? We start with that first term of 3, we add 2 when we get 5, add 2 when we get 7, add 2 when we get 9. And we don't see what that fifth term is after 9, but I think we could kind of guess that if I add 2 to 9, that that fifth term would be 11. Okay, So this is our first type of sequences, and it has a special name. That special name is called arithmetic. Now I know this word looks like arithmetic, but when we're talking about sequences, we pronounce it arithmetic. This is an arithmetic sequence. It's an arithmetic sequence because we're adding the same value every single time. Let me go ahead and write that out. That's what makes this sequence arithmetic. It's arithmetic because as I move from each term to the next, I am adding two to each term. It's the same number every single time. I'm adding two, I don't switch and all of a sudden add three. I'm continuing to add the same value every time. So that's our first type of sequence, arithmetic. You're just looking at it and trying to figure out, are we adding the same number every single time? Now let's go ahead. I said there were two we were gonna focus on. The second sequence that I want us to learn about is this sequence right here. So we're starting with 2, we go to 4, we jump to 8, we jump to 16, and then we see those three ellipses, which means that this sequence does continue on past 16. Now again, we want to look at this and we want to try to figure out how are we changing from each term to the next, right? That is really what makes sequences, sequences, right? What's that special order? How is it changing from each term to the next? Now, if you're trying to think about, okay, maybe this might be arithmetic, maybe we're adding the same number every time. 
Once we start to look at that, we see that going from our first term of two to our second term of a four, we're adding two. So far, so good. But now when I go from four to eight, I see that I'm not adding two anymore. I'm now adding four. And then when I go from eight to 16, I'm adding eight. So because I'm not adding the same value, right? That's the whole point of arithmetic sequences, that they're adding the same value. We're not adding the same value here. It's changing every single time. This means that this is not an arithmetic sequence. This is in fact a new type of sequence. And what we call that sequence is we call it a geometric sequence. Now for the first sequence up here, we were trying to think of in terms of adding. How is each term changing by adding? For geometric sequences, we wanna kinda of switch our brains, not think about what we're adding by, let's think about a different operation. And as I look from going from two to four to eight to 16, I see, or hopefully you start to see as well, that we're actually multiplying by two for every term that we see there. Two times two gives me four. Four times two gives me eight. Eight times two gives me 16. And if I did 16 times two, that fifth term that we don't see would be a 32. So for geometric sequences, we're going to multiply the same value every time. That is the second type of sequence that we're gonna focus on for these first couple of videos. They're really the main two ones that we're really gonna look at, arithmetic and geometric. Arithmetic sequences, you add the same value every single time. Geometric sequences, you're multiplying by the same number every single time. And just for our cases, like I said, there are many different types of sequences, many different types of names. I'll focus on those later. But for right now, we're just gonna look at those two and if we come across one that doesn't fit arithmetic or geometric, for the time being, we'll just classify that as neither. If we come across a sequence where I'm not adding the same value and I'm not multiplying by the same value, for just now, we'll call it neither. It might have a special name, but for just now, I wanna focus on those two. All right, guys, it's That Math Magician, and I'll see you on the next video.